Radical. Welcome to Flea Market Stories, documenting one man's journey into the world of flea marketing. This might be a busy week for Flea Market Stories, because I got a lot of stories to share from this weekend. I even thought about doing a full recap, but I think I'm just going to stick with the stories and focus on individual ones from the weekend. The first story I want to talk about in first installment of this past Saturday and Sunday is talking about an Xbox 360 sale that I had. I was a little bit surprised by it because I actually hadn't sold one in a while. The last 360 I sold was about two months ago. If I'm not mistaken, it was two months ago. It was a white one. And the only reason I sold it to this one couple and their son is because they kind of got me. They got me. I had said everything's half off today because it was a maybe a holiday, something like that. I meant to say all the games are half off, but I slipped and said everything I'm selling is half off today. They instantly walked over to the consoles and they said, oh, so these are half off too. And I was like, oh, damn it. You know, it's a lesson to learn from. So they got a $140 Xbox 360 bundle. I can't remember what I attached to that bundle. They got that for 70 bucks. But it turned out actually paying off for me because it was either that time or the next time they were there. They bought well over $100 worth of Xbox 360 games. Although that wasn't that great for me because they bought so many, I had to do a bulk discount. But I still wound up making money, and I was like, okay. Then the next time they came, they bought about half as much as they got the first time. Then the last time they came and bought something, it was maybe two or three games. And I would see them every single month at the end of the month. Last time they came by, they didn't buy anything. So I guess what it is, is they probably found somewhere at the flea market that sell, sells games cheaper. So then I might transition and say, I might remind them that if they get any discs that aren't working, which is very possible to flea market, of course, not to forget my disc cleaning service. So that way, even if they, they're not buying from me anymore because they figure out, okay, I can get a copy of Gears of War for like five bucks somewhere else at the flea market, then if it doesn't work, they can bring it to me and I can still make some money off of make some money off of that, cleaning the disc and whatnot. So this sale kind of surprised me. I didn't think the guy was going to get it, but he wound up getting the 360. I had two for sale. The one bundle on a 360 white one was 120 and I had tried something a little new with my 360 bundles. Tried something a little bit new. I had the Black Slam at 150 but I attached three games with it. And then I think a movie and then a CD. I was trying to push the fact that this Xbox is not just something that plays games. It can also play movies, DVD movies for you, and it can also play music CDs. But this is kind of a miscalculation because, you know, he didn't even really ask for any more games. He said, like, no, nah, you know, I just uh, want the system and, you know, the games I am. Uh, I'm not really caring about the DVDs. So what I did was I gave him one game instead of the three DVDs. I didn't know what else to think. I was like, man, you know, somebody's turning down. And I had a lot of DVDs for sale too, but, you know, most people these days just stream. If they're getting a 360 system, it doesn't mean they specifically want it to play movies or listen to music. They might just want it to play games, which is very reasonable. But I was trying something a little, a little bit different. I was like, okay, how can I add value to the bundle? How can I make it pretty interesting? He wound up wanting to get it for one reason. He had a Def Jam game, and those are quite sought after right now. And it was a 360 one, so he was buying a system from me just to play that one game. He wound up getting Gears of War 3, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, Need for Speed Shift Unleashed, I forget the name of that one. And a Lego Harry Potter game. So he got those. Uh, he didn't get an HDMI cable. On the bundles, I don't instantly give an HDMI cable. I have it hooked up with Component because I usually get those in a bundle with the system, you know, from Goodwill or eBay or whatnot. I usually don't get the HDMI cable. Now, if they request an HDMI cable, 
then I could do that if they bring it up. But standard, what I try to just give with them is what is hooked up to the televisions. And I think sometimes they might get at home and say, oh, okay, well, I'll go get an HDMI cable. And they won't think much of it because I provided the cable, the hookups uh, for them. And that actually is going to save me a good little bit from actually having to buy the separate HDMI cables. When you're putting together these bundles, you have to make money. You have to be profitable. I mean, the systems have a purpose for me there because they're cheap systems I can usually get for not a whole lot. But the reason I run with 360, I may have mentioned this before, is there are so many great games on it that I can feature. Specifically, I mean, there's like three or four different Grand Theft Auto type games. And four, five episodes, you know, the 360 version of San Andreas. Then, you know, if we're just talking about that genre, same deal on, you know, same deal on the PlayStation 3, if you're running with PlayStation 3s to try to sell those. Uh, you're thinking about like the Mafia, the freak, freaking Sleeping Dogs, Watch Dogs. It's plentiful. How is it that there's so many great open world car games on that system? There's so many, two of them finish the name in dogs. I know some of you might not care about some of those type games, but you got to admit when it comes to display games, those games have a distinct advantage over a lot of others. Same thing with fighting games. If you have a, a two controller setup, Mortal Kombat, that's a great display game. Some games, that might be good, but they're not good display games to try to sell the system. I can get 360s relatively cheap. The games I can get relatively cheap. So there's a lot of profit I can make off 360s. So um, that's why I run with those. And people sometimes ask me, and I don't tell them, like, well, I make a lot of money on them. If they ask me, I say, which is not a lie, I have a deep knowledge of everything 360. This is the system I played on the most in my life as a gamer, I played mostly on the 360. So it's natural for me to try to sell those. 